Hello, I did a video a few days ago about <clears throat> Emmanuel, who has eventually been banned by Matt Dillahunty. I didn't think on balance he probably should have been banned. Most of you disagreed with me. That's fair enough. But I've got somebody here, couldn't resist doing this one. The line uploaded it just a couple of days ago, a remastered clip. Uh, biblically, he calls himself, from Australia. And I must admit, this guy is one of the most frustrating Christians I've ever encountered. And uh, I will play you the last sort of seven or eight minutes of the call just to illustrate how bad he is. And he'd been previously banned. They let him back on. And he was just atrocious. Let's let's go with it. Because absolutely nothingness is a false belief. So this ties us back to God. I'm sorry, but, always but saying absolutely nothingness is a false belief doesn't in any way address the question that I asked you. I asked how you knew about God's characteristics. Yeah, I said that God is eternal. How do you know that? So to bring up a new point. How do you know that? I had a new point. I don't want a new point. I want to know how you know that fucking point. Because he is absolute. How do you know that? That is what... Because he is all-powerful. How do you know that? We were so close to a breakthrough, and then you said that you're having sex with God, and now we're... I can't, I can't get out of that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Earlier in the call, uh, this caller claimed that he has a sexual relationship with God. He did not elaborate on it, unfortunately, but that's what he claimed. <laughs> He is all powerful because he is immaterial. How do you know that? And a creator. How do you know that? Because the universe exists. How do you know that? How do you know that the, the universe exists necessarily means there's an all powerful God? Because God created the universe. How do you know that? Up. Because the universe is not absolute perfection. You, how do you know that? Humble. Well, so, so whether or not the universe, see, here's the thing is you get, you go and you keep asserting things that are not explanations that have no explanatory power that are just more assertions. And then you get back to saying something that is completely irrelevant. When I say, how do you know that God created the universe? Because the universe isn't perfect. That's not an argument. That's not evidence. And you know what? I, you're either, you, you are either an incredibly confused individual I, I wonder can i can i ask this biblically are you able to imagine a world where god doesn't exist no that's impossible okay then we're going to move on because i don't like having conversations with people who cannot engage in a hypothetical and I have legitimate concerns that if you are serious about actually having a sexual relationship with God, uh, that at this point we are in a, in a loop that we're never going to get out of. We were so close to a breakthrough. But I can explain. I can explain myself on why you, you haven't been able to explain a single thing. What is it you can explain? Tell me what you can explain, and we'll see if we want to know. So, as an absolute starting point, you need a particular that is absolute, that represents the number one. So to be infinite means to be everywhere by default. So infinite is not measured by numbers, it's measured by one thing. So God infinity is isn't, infinite, in, infinite in isn't a quantity. Uh, it doesn't require a one or anything else. Infinite is not a quantity, it is a concept. Just like it's you're just talking about calculus, yo. Like it's Yeah, so you need the number one as a starting point. What the hell does that have to do you're, with you? Uh, all right. You said you were gonna explain yourself and instead I hear you talking about the number one. Are you the number one? God is number one. Prove it. Do you think math was invented or discovered? Uh, can you repeat your question? Do you think that math was invented or discovered? Oh. It was discovered through the revelation of God. So no, it wasn't discovered through the revelation of God. 
God, so number zero is a false belief. The so number what? one has to be eternal. Did you and say the number God. zero is a false belief? Take that up with the Aztecs. Yeah, because absolutely nothing is a false belief. Right. How number many, one exists. How many I got, penguins? I got three other callers waiting. You let me know when we can move on. Yeah, just, just, just really quick. How many penguins are currently inside of my ears, biblically? Well, shout out to your ears. Yeah, how, how, many how many penguins you are thinking about? No, no, no. Inside my actual ear canal, how many penguins live there? Well, that's impossible because you can't fit. So the answer is zero. Zero penguins live inside my ears. Is this an impossible statement because it involves the reality of zero? But penguins do exist. And ears do so exist. Could just... The number zero also exists, yeah? So to say that we that zero means nothingness, like you just said, that's a mad thing to say. But no, because I could you could just change the assigned value of a penguin to a finite in size particular. So the oxygen. I, I call something else a penguin, then it's one, and now zero doesn't exist anymore. Is that what you're saying? I have a mint in my left hand. How many mints do I have in my right hand? Well, my is clarifying zero. question to your question is... How many mints do I have in my fucking right hand? It looks like zero, Matt. I'm asking you a like clarifying question. I'm, I'm not... There is no clarifying question. I'm, are you able to see the screen? Are you seeing us? Yeah, I see your screen. So you so see me holding up a mint right. in my left hand, and you see my right hand. How many fucking mints are in my fucking right hand right now? I swear to God, if you change the meaning of the word mint to mean something else, I'm going to lose it. I must say, I'm glad that Matt and Forrest are no longer working together. <clears throat> I think they go to, they go together very badly. Um, I'm getting irritated with the number of interruptions from Forrest. It depends what you mean by mint. Oh, my God. Goodbye, goodbye, right. goodbye right. forever. You can be done. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, you didn't see the whole of the, maybe you did see the whole of it, but earlier on, Forrest asked, biblically, biblically he calls himself, do you, does, can God regret? And his answer was, well, there are many different ways to define regret, you know, I think this guy takes his lessons from Jordan Peterson. But I must say, I do think that he d he did deserve to be banned. He's far worse than Emmanuel, believe me. I really do think he's far worse than Emmanuel. He's got no intention of engaging honestly. Um, he's, he's presenting irrelevant answers to virtually all the questions. And... When he understands he's been cornered by a question, he just turns around and says, well, it depends what you mean by mint. Well, it depends what you mean by regret. And he's just too dishonest to engage with. So, yeah, he deserved to be banned worse than Emmanuel. Let me know your opinion. Bye for now.